FBI whistleblowers testified this morning before the House Subcommittee on the Weaponization of the Federal Government, detailing the retaliation they received after exposing abuses they witnessed throughout their time at the Bureau. Joining me now for an update from Capitol Hill is Rebecca Downs, a reporter with Town Hall. Rebecca, welcome back to Washington Watch. Thank you for having me. So what did we learn this morning from today's, he uh, today's hearing? So um, it was a lot that was uh, mentioned in a report that the select committee under the House Judiciary Committee put out, which is that the FBI is retaliating against whistleblowers, against their own who uh, wanted to report wrongdoing out of service to their country, out of love for the work they're doing, um, and to challenge the FBI to do better. Unfortunately, they were retaliated against. Um, we heard testimony from agents who were had their possessions locked out. They were locked out of their possessions. They were suspended without pay. They were treated very, very horribly. Unfortunately, they were then treated very horribly by Democrat members on the select committee who questioned their stories, who questioned that they were even whistleblowers. There were some very chaotic moments, which would almost be comical if uh, it wasn't such harsh treatment towards people who have honorably served our country. So as whistleblowers, there are certain protections that come for a whistleblower under the law. It would appear that the, the FBI has violated that by the treatment that these whistleblowers have received. That's certainly something worth uh, investigating. The committee has done a only a valiant job trying to get to the bottom of this. And with any hope, the whistleblower's testimonies will definitely speak to that. Now, speak did to you, some clarity on that. Did you, um, did you kind of see a common thread throughout the testimony uh, this morning? That uh, there definitely is politicization here and even weaponization, right? That was what this committee was um, formed to do. One of the members actually warned that what the FBI is engaging in is true weaponization against um, its own agents, in addition to parents who are speaking up at school board meetings, pro-lifers who want to get the their beliefs out there, even just Catholic churches and, and people who attend Catholic churches. It's very, very concerning. So that's, I guess what the theme is, is that there's more that we need to get to the bottom of, and hopefully these agents will uh, will help that. Now, uh, these agents have been, uh, I think, in uh, the testimony I heard, have been removed. They're 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 not working at present, not being yes, former, uh, former agents. Yeah. So, I mean, but they're still officially with the department. They can't do outside work. I mean, this is. Uh, I mean, it, it, it really would sound as them. if they're trying to destroy these people. It does sound like that, right? Some of the testimony we have heard, um, one that really broke my heart. I'm a parent myself hearing this man talk about how he, he had to move across the country for a new post. He was then suspended when he got there. Um, they locked away his possessions. He couldn't access them. He couldn't access key documents, key information. Uh, they had to beg for his children uh, to, to get coats um, in Quantico, when they were in Quantico, Virginia. It just, it breaks my heart. Final question for you, uh, Rebecca. Sure. There was testimony today that the FBI had undercover officers, confidential informants, and assets at the U.S. Capitol on January the 6th. Does this not contradict direct testimony by FBI Director Christopher Wray? It, it certainly seems that it would. And uh, Harriet Higman, uh, congressman from Wyoming, she definitely uh, you know, called out the, the FBI and the CIA on that one. And that's something we really should be getting to the bottom of. And I think it's something that the uh, now that the Republicans are in control of the House, I am confident that if we are going to get answers, it's going to be through this committee. All right, uh, Rebecca, thank you so much for uh, for joining us today. Thank you. God bless.